warrior state of mind you are now tuned in let's go state of mind you are now tuned in let's go let's go we are in the yeah. building man let's go you here with me your host uh five you got Cito on this side and we got special guests uh let him introduce himself uh hey how are everybody doing my name's dave i own making it better bullies making it new better nice. it's guys. coming welcome, out of welcome. new york making it better man I love I love that name because uh it goes really good with everything. You you did you did you did absolutely amazing with that name. I love that name. How, simple, right? Yeah, man. it's simple but yet it, it just got a it's real catchy, man. Like yeah. you did good with that yeah, name. Thank you, thank I you. like it. I like it. Making it better. It goes with everything, man. So yeah. uh we want to ask you like um let's say let's start where like who you are. Like uh how how would you end up in this bully game and and what was like uh was the motivation and, and, and the concept of you, you know, doing everything? Like, how'd you, how'd you start? And, you know, you got love for the dogs, obviously. That's, that's a hell of a question, guys. Uh, I don't know. When I was younger, I wasn't allowed to have dogs. So necessarily, I knew when I got older, you know, it would actually have my own place, do what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted a dog. I didn't know what kind of dog I wanted. But uh, I, what do you call it? I actually cut hair also, so... You know, things started working out. Barbershop's doing well. And then um, I said, you know, I'm going to buy a dog. Yeah. You know? So um, I started, bro, honestly, social media. I was just scrolling through, I think, no, it was either, it was it was Instagram or YouTube. It was one of them. I don't know if I can say that. I'm sorry, guy. But, um, That's true. Yeah. But no, um, I saw this badass dog. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know. I don't know if I, you say the name of the dog and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, okay, cool. So I'm looking and I see this badass dog. And I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, yeah. how, how's that dog's neck look like that? An you exotic? Know? It was an exotic? It or was Miyagi. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at okay. yeah. oh, this video of this dog running. And I'm like, yo, he got his, fuck, his neck look like that. You know, <laughs> I neck. need one of those. Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah. what is that? Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like, his smile, you know, and all that other good shit that came with, like, I guess you could say, Let's just say the exotic breeding type or, you know, the American bully, yeah. you know, because whether I feel if you like the exotic, I don't care what kind of bully you like, but uh, if if you if you saw him, you know what I mean? You, you, you had to like him more because, I mean, he's he's something that's uh, over time just was created. Yeah. You know, so I bought a dog, you know, and uh, I, I didn't have the mindset of even like I was going to be a breeder. I was just like, you know, I want a badass dog, you know? So um, I actually bought one, okay? And then um, I bought another one. Not, not to cut you off. Now, when you bought one, was it a female or a male? No, it was actually a male buck, okay? okay? And uh, I bought this dog. His name is Biggie, okay? And uh, he was he didn't turn out to be what, what, what I thought he was going to turn out to be, guys. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, my mindset was like, you know, wow, the dad's real cool looking. The mom's real cool looking, guys. You know, like, okay, yeah. he got to look like either one of them. Right, or, right, right. Or at least yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. Be something. I mean, I yeah. look like my mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for you know? sure. But, uh, no, so, you know, I, I, I loved him like my dog or whatever. And then uh, he necessarily wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. You know what I mean? And I, I was able to get another one. Okay, so my plan was, is, you know, I'm going to get this other one. and uh, Boy or a girl? Well, at this point, he was a boy. His name was Biggie. Okay. But then I bought a female. Okay. okay. And my plan was to mate her to him. Okay. So I tried or whatever. And, uh, you know, just to share this with you, because, you know, a lot of times people see all the good stuff with this bully game, but there is ups and downs. For sure. So, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm definitely, saying? Definitely. There's ups and downs. And. You know, it was a learning experience for me. Like, I haven't really been doing this that long. So. Ups and downs, guys. Yeah. Saying it for the guys in the back. Make sure they heard that. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I mean, you, you know, like, 
got to really think about it. Like, I don't even understand how certain people come to the, the, the concept of this is easy. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like, if it was that easy, I believe there'd be a lot more people. Because there is a lot of people doing, uh, you know, stuff with dogs and trying to build their programs and stuff. But if it was that easy, everybody be at the top. Right. Yeah. For sure. You get what I'm saying? And, like, you know, like, I don't understand how certain people... You know, I don't know how to get that mindset that it's easy. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely not. But it's doable, but you definitely have to apply yourself. Now, you bought the boy and the girl and Biggie and the female. Now, did it click like how okay, you expected how it? Or? For you? That's what I was going to say to you guys. So anyway, I tried a maiden, you know, ran PGs like you're posting, whatever. And uh, the do- there was no nothing happening. I did it twice. Okay. okay. Like she didn't take or it wasn't well, what you wanted? Well, like? no, nothing. Like no puppies okay. didn't take or anything. Nope. So at that point, I went to the vet and had uh, blood work taken. I actually had uh, my boy Biggie's sperm pulled, you know what I mean, and seen, and it was actually Biggie. You know what I mean? Biggie, oh, okay. he, wasn't, he wasn't sterile, but he was like a one in a trillion thing. Like, I don't know if you guys understand about how, like, you know, a sperm count should be, but, like, <coughs> it's normal, excuse me, for dogs to have hundreds of millions of sperm yep. cells. You know what I mean? Biggie was at like 2.6 million with uh, a mobility of, I believe it was, uh, it was low guys. It was like 36%. Oh. In other words, that wasn't a good thing. No, you know what I mean? So he wasn't, uh, he wasn't breedable. You know what I mean? But so we still kept him. He's at the house chilling or whatever. But uh, that's cool. Then I bred, um, I bred Famous's mother to a dog, and at that point, uh, I fell in love with this, what they call Merle. You get what I'm saying, guys? So, you know, at that point, necessarily, it was a lot of, um, there was a lot of people necessarily not really liking it. I guess it was uh, something that necessarily wasn't trending at that point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, we did that, and that wind up taking, and... uh, And and, and, and the Merle, what's the name of this Merle? Joker. Joker. Joker, he's actually owned by uh, Rare Color Bullies. Uh, no, I meant, I meant your, your Merle, right? Oh, my Merle? Yeah. Well, his name's Famous. Famous. Uh, that's your famous. stud, right? Yeah. And, and and he's actually like, what's what's his stud fee right now? He's closed. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was, was, was going to plug <laughs> you in, go to uh, making it better. And, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, you know. Thank you. Try thank to make you. it better for y'all. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you. Get a little famous yeah. in, your, in your camp and you might get yeah. famous, you yeah. know, but... <laughs> But you're the best man. You go, thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. nah, that's yeah. what you know. That's what the angle I was looking at because, yeah. like I said, uh, you got famous now, so you purchased famous, and well, or produced, you you, you produce produced famous. Produced, yeah. yeah, so now you got your stud, and do you got any other studs? Uh, we have Gizmo. Okay. Which is uh my fluffy? He's actually my wife's fluffy, but he's a part of our program. Nice, and this is a Frenchie, right? Frenchie yes. fluffy. We got Gizmo. Yeah. And uh, he's he's his stud fee is he's five k right 5K. now five k wow I mean, yeah but something's about to drop so oh <laughs> if it didn't drop though don't, don't be upset don't Uh-oh. be upset it's not that there's anything wrong with him we got valid lab work we got all that I just felt that that was a great number to start him off because he didn't have no productions hey, so yesterday's price is not, not today's price, price. it is not today's Uh-oh. well it, it, it's today's we got you know, we got, <laughs> <You still laughs> we got, got time we, yeah we got we got about a week and a half. You know? <laughs> Yeah, we confirmed today, you know, and all that good stuff. So, you know, uh, x ray. So, we're, we're almost there, guys. Nice, man. Yeah, nice. Congrats, congrats on that, man. Yeah, but, um, yeah, he's uh, he's close, guys. Um, yeah, that was uh, part of my uh, do you just want me to keep what going? made you, yeah, yeah, yeah. mind, guys? Yeah, uh, it, you know, I, I just came up with a vision, okay, and necessarily, you know, famous's mother's 13 inches off the ground, his father's 12 and a half, okay, nice. Um, famous is 20, a little bit over, like a hair shy over 20 inches and a hundred pounds. Okay. Okay. He was a litter of eight. He's the only one that came out like that. Okay. All the other ones, his brother's 15 inches. All the females are 13 and under. And uh, I fell in love with him, but I looked at it from a different aspect. I looked at it as everybody was going smaller. You know what I mean? Ha! <laughs> We went better. Right, <laughs> Let's right. go. Let's go, man. Anyway, you know, but that's what my mindset was on. My mindset wasn't on what everyone else was doing. Of course not. My mindset was on, you know, necessarily what I thought was going to be the next thing. And and, and, yeah. and not to cut you off, but 
I, I, I definitely got to elaborate because you said something that caught my, my attention, and that was uh, vision. Yeah. Your vision. Yes. You know, so, like, I just want to touch in real quick, and then we can go back to that. Yeah, absolutely. So, what, what is your vision? Well. Like, what is your, your vision as far as, like, well, as dog, you, as far as, like, height? Yeah, like, like, know, like sh- what's my, I guess, uh. Ideal, ideal dog, or what's yeah, my uh, my or opinion what? on what I, I I favor in a dog? Yeah, your your perfect dog. Yeah, like in my brand, yes. Yeah. Like, I like I like an extreme dog. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, beside, but it, it's more than just the way the dog looks. I mean, yes, I love the look of the dog, but it has to be their temperament. It has to be their mindset. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like famous looked at me in my eyes when he was two weeks, three weeks old. I'm talking about you would go in there and see him and his brother and his sisters. And they would just be happy, just, you know, they're puppies, you know? And he would be listening to my voice and just looking at me. And then when now, when I look at my dogs, you know what I mean? I I pick out which ones because I want to breed that there. Yeah. Because it's no good having a badass dog if the dog don't listen, Mm -hmm. you know? Also, you do got to put work in with your dogs. You can't leave your dog in a cage all day Mm -hmm. and think your dog's going to walk right in the rain and and your dog's going to sit and your dog's going to do all this good stuff, uh, a dog is like a child, you know what I mean? So you got to mold it to what you want to mold it to. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, you know, an ideal dog to me is, I don't, I preferably like a dog between, I would say, 16 and 20 inches. I want them to have a nice spread on them. The other thing with, that you get over here at Making It Better Bullies is you actually get the whole look. Right. Okay, he's throwing his look. Okay, you can go anywhere and anywhere and look at a dog and, He's throwing his headpiece. He's throwing his structure. He's throwing his frame. You know what I mean? His mass. You know, and me, preferably, I love a bowl. It's the best way to pull it. Like, yeah, let's get them painted up, you know? Like, yeah. I'm the Merle dude. Like, you know, I built my program off that. I stand on that. You know, that there's nothing wrong with these dogs. You know what I'm saying? These dogs are not going to die in two years, three years. And I put my stamp on that. I produce them. You know what I mean, bro? So that's like, cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, man. You know, like my dogs. Healthy come, dogs. My dogs come with a certificate of good health from a, from a vet. Yeah. You, you can't even come pick up the dog from me until my vet will see the dog. So that's done. He won't see the dog until it's nine weeks for two reasons. He needs his first two shots, okay? And then at that point, he gives the dog a little bit of time. Like, I preferably like to hold the dogs 12 weeks if I can. Because there's more than just a paper. Like, a vet's not going to sign off on that. Like, he actually puts that dog on a test to where it, it looks at the blood flow of him. He checks his joints. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I put my stamp on that, bro. You know what I mean? Like right, I, right. Yeah, I'm yeah, being yeah, honest right. with you. Like, you, you know, if someone invested in me, I look at it like, you know. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely. You know, I definitely. my family, bro. Right, you know for sure. So, and it's a brand that, yeah. you, that you stand, you know, behind. You got to stand on that. And, um. Yeah, so that's your vision. That's your vision. That's your um. Let's let's go back. Uh, yeah, so a little bit. I just wanted to tap into. I like that. tight paws. Yep. I'm still going with that. Yeah. <laughs> I like tight paws. Okay. I don't like. I want their feet to be straight. Okay. Um, I like the way they move. Like famous, if you say, ever seen him at a show, bro, it's his movement. Besides the way he looks, because any dog can be very any, active. Yeah, well, not that it's active. It's just how tight he is. But yeah. like when he moves, bro, it's like bing, bam, bam. Like I don't like. Like, like I, I show him in a ring, bro. Like, I'm not knocking anybody else does. I do stack him. But he goes in a in a ring, a register show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's done very well, you know, throughout registries. I mean, I have pictures on my page. Like, I don't discriminate. We go state to state. Yes. Yeah, you know, dope, we don't that's discriminate. Dope. You know? Nice. But nice. the dog needs to be, like, I just want to, I want a dog that, I want a dog that looks the way that necessarily anything that I produce looks. You know, and I the reason why I just put it that way is because it's so much. I can go on for hours. Temperament. I want them to be able to walk tight. I want them to have a nice frame. I want them tight paws. Okay. I want this dog to have a great life, not 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 need to go to a doctor because it has anything more wrong than maybe allergies in the summer. Yeah. You know, produce something to where somebody knows they got their money's worth. That's big. That's big. If they man. asking them big dollars, yeah. 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 And, and of course, I want to, you know, like. A lot of people, I don't mean to cut you off, you know, some of this is a flex for people too, you know, some people like necessarily how I did in the beginning, just fell in love with the dog, had some money and bought a cool dog, Yeah. you know, and then at that point, guys, like, you know, it's really cool when someone can say to a person like, 
okay, I got this goal for making it better for this, okay? Mm-hmm. And they say, oh, you know, who's the dad? Where they say, oh, famous or whatever, okay? And then they show a picture of the dog, and the dog looks like the father. You know what I'm saying? And if the dog looked like the mother, just telling you guys a little bit why I'm doing this, I bought all his nieces, okay? So, like, how I'm telling you, I sold three dogs to Denver earlier. That was famous as sisters, and then one to Minnesota, his brother. I went back and cashed those people out the same dollar that I charged them for their nieces because it was more important to me. I understood what I needed. So, like, we're at the point now that that's why he's closed. Because I didn't feel, and not to knock anybody, this is just my vision. Right. Okay. Um, if everyone uses a stud, okay, eventually I feel in my heart you liquefied that stud to where you brought the value of him down. Why you feel exclusive? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because okay. everyone has exclusive. it. Yeah. Think about that. Everyone has. Oh that. yeah, that's a, that's another thing too. I was gonna ask yeah. you. Yeah, it's it's a great thing that you closed them because yeah, a lot that, of people don't move like that. You know, yeah, a lot and, of people and, hoard and, their and dogs. And salute out. to everybody. You know, necessarily if they use a dog, necessarily that they wanted to add something to their program. But I look at it, guys, like you know, as me being a breeder, and I'm looking long term into this, guys. Okay, I look at it like I, I'm still new into this. Okay, I'm still new into this. So why would I liquefy him to where I would bring his value down? You know, like, like I understand the moment thing, and that's good, but I looked at it from a different aspect. You know what I mean? I looked at it like, you know, I can keep this going after he's gone. You know what I mean? I got a daughter that she's junior handler. You know what I mean, bro? Like, she's winning. You know what I mean? She's winning. She go to Wow Factor with Go to the, she goes to some of the big ones. That's cool. We might have to interview her, man. When Bro, later I'm down the road, people know her. Yeah, she man. a beast. My that's daughter, cool, bro, man. She showed famous when she was like, like two and a half. I'm talking about he a hundred pounds. Shout old, out bro. to her, man. That's what's yeah. up. Man. Wow, for the youth, nice. man. Yeah. Everything I do is for my kids. That's dope, man. You know what I mean? They're gonna leave a legacy. So I looked at it on a long term note, guys. To where, what am I gonna leave them? Like you can leave your kids, you know, money and properties and everything, but necessarily. What could I really leave them mm-hmm. that they could grow up and watch and be like, yo, this shit's easy. When everyone's getting into it, they're like, yo, I've been doing this since I was 11. Uh, yeah. This is nothing. Right, right. You know, I walk right. a whole litter with my dad. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's nice, you man. Know? And then what my picture, guys, is like I said to you, I didn't liquefy it. So now the only place you can get it from is from the source. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want it, I hope you find what you're looking for. Right, you right. Really do. I hope you find what you're looking for. But that's... That was my mindset, guys. You know, that's I mean, that's that's that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it does. And was the way he, he ever moved. open, or you yeah, just of course not. He had has, him open yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, famous has uh, he has about nine litters right now. Bro. Okay, he has nine litters. He has uh, one that should be dropping real soon in Buffalo. Then um, he has the one that we just ran to his niece. Then he has the one when we ran him back to his mother. Oh, okay. okay. Then he has uh, another one in Albany. And he has another one in West Virginia. If I forget about you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I know there's eight or nine of them. I know there's eight or nine of them. He's not liquefied like that yet. Just all, over the, all over the world, though, right? And that's, that's well, got to be... not the world. The United okay. States. Yeah. Well, yeah, we I mean, but yeah, I'm sure the people get the point. Yeah, but I, I'm there. just saying, well, it's, it's an accomplishment. Thank you. Man. You know, and, you, and, 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 and that's big, bro. Thank you. You know, that's yeah. big to have... You know, dogs all over, all over, man, all over. And that's yeah. that's cool, man. That's definitely, definitely an accomplishment. Definitely. And uh, speaking about accomplishments, Thank you know, you. Um, I'm not sure if you, like, uh, the, compli- like uh, the accomplishments I'm talking about, um, how can I say this? Uh, your goals, do you, uh, you got them, like, to where you know, like you gonna like on your way to them? Did you accomplish some of them already? Uh, and and what's the goals? Do you see like the goals later? Like uh, after you accomplish a goal, what's next? Like milestones. Like milestones. Yeah. Like no, I set stuff for myself like that, guys. Yeah, I do. I set stuff. Have myself. one just main goal like. Yeah. Well, I think there has go. to be. I well, I think a main goal is great. I mean, like yes, I have a main goal. You know what I mean? Like absolutely, but I feel there has to be other goals to get you there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I would love to tell you guys that, like, what I want to do in my mindset that I can do in once, one skip and jump. You know what I mean? But, like, I, I feel there's, like, steps to it. Of course, of I'm course. That I'm going to need. 
you know? See, see, see I, like, like, I want, like, for me, a goal was to uh, sell a dog to someone famous. I accomplished it. Now it's like, what's next? Yes. You know, so that's what I was trying to. Yeah. Um, exactly what you said. Yeah. Catch somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of Josh Allen, man. Yeah. I said he win the Super Bowl, I give him one. You give him nice. one. I don't even, I don't even want one, man. Nice. I give him one. I nice. give him one. You heard me shout out. Go, let's go Buffalo. Let's go, let's go <laughs> Buffalo, <laughs> baby. Yo, bro, I fell in love with the Bills, man. You, you ever been to a game, guys? No. Yo, bro, I've never been to a I've game. never been to a game before game one. Yo, that shit was beautiful, bro. Everyone's like just the aura. You know what I mean? Just like, <laughs> yeah, we got to do that one time, man. We have to. Bro. So, yeah, yeah. so, um, what, what's, uh, what would, what would be your advice, uh, to a beginner, somebody who wants to get into this dog game? Like, what would, what would your advice be to them? Well, it depends on which way they want to go in on it, because, like, you know, a lot of people speak on the breeding aspect of it, because, you know, I mean, right now, like, I see a lot more, um. You know, just breeders involved, like, necessarily that just, you know, are great with promotion and they're producing their asses off some of them, honestly. And they've figured out the source, you know what I mean, or what clicks with what. But um, I, I, I think it depends on which way you're going with it. If you're going to go that route, then, you know, you want to you wanna get some mentors, you know what I mean? And I, I feel like a mentor isn't necessarily somebody that you need to talk to, but with the way, you know, the world is today with technology... You can really follow somebody that's really maybe necessarily making a movement or doing something you're doing, and you can really pick up a lot of stuff from somebody if you just watch them oh, yeah, that's without what, even talking to them. That's what this uh, breeder po- this podcast is uh, breeder state of mind. Yeah, you know, yeah. educate like the here. people. Yeah, you really can. You yeah. know, and then at that point, you know, necessarily, you know, it's always great if you can, you know, kind of reach out and the mm-hmm. person wants to give you, you know, their ear for a minute. You know, but at that point, you got to kind of try to figure it out. For I mean, it doesn't take. It's not, it's not easy, but it's not science. Right, right. You know, necessarily, if you get in this dog game and you notice things are working, like, for instance, if someone was watching me, guys, okay, you know, I'm, I'm always in my dog house, okay? If I'm not in the dog house, I'm at a dog show. You know what I mean? So my thing is people know me as, yes, he produced dogs, but he shows them. You know what I mean? Right. He has show quality. You know what I mean? Like, he, he he's proven it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And that's where I feel... A lot of people that watch me necessarily are probably half and half instead of just necessarily one way with just breeding, you know, like people that show dogs and, you know, stack them off because that's another thing in our generation, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not discriminating. Stacking off is showing. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Showing them off. Yeah, stacking off is showing. I think the biggest thing is if you bring your dog out anywhere, okay? And, like, what I mean anywhere, if uh, if you're trying to establish yourself or... And in all honesty, I don't know why it's like this sometimes, but even if you have yourself established, I don't know why you pull up to a show without at least one of your dogs. Right. Uh, that's just my you, opinion. You want to show, you want to show. I what mean, you even got if you got on. just, even if you're on top of the world right now. Yeah. Still want to like, show something. Else. I mean, like me, preferably, like, you know, it'd be cool if they could, if, if I had the machine just to print out all the money I wanted, but, you know, you know, the dog community helps a lot of us pay our bills. So why wouldn't you give back to people, maybe, you know, and bring out your dog? You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm different. I mean, yeah, we. That's yeah, that's exactly. Know, bring the dog out. You might sell the stud fee. You might. Uh, I mean, uh-huh. even if you don't need it. You, e- yeah. Even if yeah. you don't need it. I mean, necessarily, if the dog gate was good to you, you know, why why not show some love back? Now, now, uh, when you when you got in the game, when you first got in, did you were you able to like? Um, connect with any camps that try to like reach out and mentor you a little bit and show you the ropes and try to uh you know give them give you their vision a little bit like uh did anybody take you in and just like you know just show a little bit of love and just show you Yo, i love that question yeah you, nah, know. you know i like that question <laughs> what's up because motherfuckers don't be asking that sorry to curse no nah, it's cool man they, 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 they don't be asking that we gotta right? be ourselves and, and, and everybody Everyone had to come from somewhere. Like, see, there's a thing. I understand good business aspect to where you want to make yourself bull. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I feel just me as a person that you can't forget the ones that have helped you get you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, 
I'm gonna keep it told you. This is crazy. This is how me and this guy, bro, like, bro, he like family. Keep real with you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you because he didn't need to show me the things he showed me because I used to pay him to do them for me. The sauce. Okay, not even the source, bro. Like, before I learned how to do AIs. Right. Before I learned how to pull my boy. Okay, bud? I would call him. Okay? He was my friend. Yeah. Okay? And he did teach me things prior to that. Okay. You know what I mean? He taught me, like, you know, Dave, you, you, you want to look at this with a dog. You know what I mean? The eye separation and all that good stuff he taught me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one day, he, he came to me. I think it was after, like, the first show, Fame 1 or something like that. And, uh... That man put the business all to the side. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, we're not going to get into the number I paid him. But he was my friend. You know what I mean? And I felt necessarily he had a service that I needed to complete my goal on getting paid for my stud. He was on call whenever I needed it. And I felt that he was worth the money I was paying him. So, you know, I didn't even look. I knew as a breeder, eventually, I would need to learn. You know what I'm saying? But right. my mindset right. wasn't like that already because... I already learned so much from him. So I looked at it like this is the way I was giving back to him. You get what I'm saying? And then, um, yo, shout out to Lenny. Where he's born. 314 shout Exotics. Lenny, shout out to Lenny. So, yeah, shout out to Lenny, man. Where he's born. Yeah, that's I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Part of it, you know what I mean? Like with the breeding part on my own. Uh, sending out sperm for any of my dogs if they're open. If it wasn't for Lenny. I came back from winning. And he, like, he sat down. He was happy, you know, chilling, all that good stuff. And he was like, yo, bro, you got to learn how to pull him. He goes, because, bro, what's going to happen when someone, you pull up to a show and someone's like, yo, bro, I got a female ready right now. I got the PG test. You know, if it lined up, you heard me? He said, Dave, you don't want just anybody pulling your dog, okay? He goes, you can actually hurt your dog. And there is. You have to know what you're doing. Or you can actually hurt them. You know what I'm saying? You can actually affect them long term. I don't know if you guys know that. Ask a vet about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't put your dog more than once a day. But, you know, that's all other stuff besides the question you asked. Okay? But uh, what do you call it? Um, He showed me. He was like, yo, bro, you got to learn this. And, <laughs> yo, bro, this dude's showing me. And I didn't learn right away. You know what I'm saying? But, like, he was showing me. You know what I mean? And eventually I figured it out. And, I mean, he, he cost me a bill out the goodness of his heart. You know what I mean? Like, that man had secure bread. Like, he knows I'm here to stay, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he had secure bread. Like, eventually I would have learned, I guess. But, you know, he pushed for it, and he didn't need to do that. You know right, what I'm saying, right, right, He didn't right. need to do that. And, you know and, what I mean? Like, and it's hard It's hard to find people in this game like that. You can't and, do it. yeah, and, and they did one in a million. For sure. Definitely. And, yeah, and Definitely. that's another thing, man. You got to pay to play. A lot of people yeah. just, you know, that's what it is, you know, and, and they don't, they're not genuine like that. So I just say that to say this, like, you know, uh, that's a beautiful thing, you know. Hey, that's some shit, bro. Yeah, that's really think about that. It's a beautiful thing, Everybody man. Everybody getting some money off this door game somehow. Mm -hmm. And that man, no, no complaints. I got you. You know what I mean? It's right. a beautiful and he thing. turned around and looked at me and, 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 and didn't think about the money. You know what I mean? He thought about, like, I don't know what the hell he was thinking about. He think about he was really my friend. You know what I'm saying, bro? Friendship, yeah. The yeah, he's like, yo, that's advice, my man. You know that's my I mean? brother. Probably, probably seen something in you as well. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? And, and like, it's, it's crazy, but, like, we still like that. You that's know? what's up. Kids come up to the crib, run around. Like, he come my, he come my house, open the fridge. <laughs> Turn the TV on. Make a sandwich. Go ahead. What you want. You know what I mean? Do what you want. Like, family. Is, is making it better uh, all yours, or do you have a kennel partner? Well, I would say it's the Singh family, okay? Mm -hmm. Making it better bullies is, I, I say my family because I, like I told you, I will leave this to them, but it's really me and my wife, okay. okay? My wife is like, she shows gizmo, okay? The fluffy that we have. But my wife is the whelping expert, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, like all the way through, like, like she like figured out, like, God forbid you have the two feet. You know what I mean? She figured out certain things. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? She figured out things that necessarily... Shout out to the wife, man. Yo, for real, bro. If anyone has... Because this is the other thing, guys. Like, you know, like... If you have, like, your friend... Because sometimes, honestly, you got to remember. Like, 
this isn't for everybody. Mm-hmm. So, so you, you can't be mad necessarily if wifey don't want to do it. It's not wifey's thing. It's not wifey's thing. Right, right. You know, you didn't fall in love with wifey because she was going to be the breeder with right, you. Right, <laughs> you know right, right. She wasn't going to love right, you. Know? Right, right, you know, right. You know, it's really. For sure. You know, but like if it works out, man, like shout out to those people, man. I, I'm talking about like waking up. Like we had the two feet. You know no what I'm saying? The whole, the whole nine yards. Yeah, bro. Like, I don't know if you see my videos, bro. I set up a bed. I had a twin size mattress in the doghouse, bro. I was sleeping out there. It gets tough. It gets it's tough. There. It gets there. I closed it the bar tough. shop for two weeks. Closed the bar shop for two whole weeks. I said, I ain't coming out. My wife is bringing me food to the doghouse. No BS, bro. I'm like, nah. Uh, I mean, yeah. and how, sacrifices that got to be made. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sacrifices got to be made oh, in this game. I don't know. I'm a dog breed. <laughs> percent man and uh how long you say you've been doing this for like show wise breeding the whole nine yards going in like yeah like three and a half years three and a half years like we started with famous you know what i mean but uh famous is about to be three so i would say about three years you know what i mean like okay. just going you know going hard and that's yeah. going to shows or yeah like we've been to uh denver uh chicago illinois ohio South Carolina, back home in the city, the Bronx, Zooieville, I went to once or twice. Um, where else? PA. Where else did I go? Um, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of shows. Yeah, I'm not too sure where else, because like, we go to Ohio every year. We go to Wild Fact every year. So, you know, I went to those, but uh, the next states are West Virginia, and then um, in October, we go to Dallas. Dallas, yeah. So, did you have uh, more losses than wins or more wins than losses? I think balance now, guys. Okay. I think balance now, you know? I mean, like, you know, I popped a litter, you know, down the line. You know I mean? Most of them died. Yeah. Just being real with you. You know, they were born premature, and that's what happens, you know? So, like, we dealt with that L. Then, um, what else? Um. You know, like, this is the thing. It looks like I'm doing always real good, but I invested a lot of money back in. You get what I'm saying? Like, like the nobody pays that electric. Right. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. my dogs eat raw three times a week with sweet potatoes, carrots, um, pumpkin spice. I mean, bro, like, the dogs eat better than most people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, say bro? That, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They sleep, dog, they sleep better than most people, too. You yo, got a uh, nice uh, yeah, facility, so setup, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, that's so good. I don't think it's facility yet. It's... uh. I got a 12 by 24 two-story barn. And uh, what we did was we fully installated it, um, ran electric through it, um, you know, put runs outside, and then there's about a third of an acre that's connected to the runs. I, I It's like their house. Like, you know, like my, my my dream, like a facility would be like this big, crazy pool barn. Another that, goal. Yo, bro, yeah, that, no, that's going to happen. Another goal, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big pool barn, and then half of it, be like a chill spot with like a basketball court. Yeah, yeah. You See, know? yeah, that's a nice goal right there, yeah, man. And all like like that, bro. Yeah. That's, that's dope, man. But uh <laughs> no, there's been losses, bro. Like, you know, like my first dog we were talking about earlier, bro. You know, I paid a little breath for that boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not that guy's fault. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how is he supposed to know? But now necessarily in my mindset, you know, there are things you could figure out, but there was no way him knowing. I mean, there was no way. I don't even think he's brought the dog to the vet, honestly. And that's <laughs> just being real with you. A lot of people don't got that mindset. Right? I bought the dog off Hoobly. You know what I mean? I saw two cool pictures. I said, oh, it's cool. You know, grab the dog. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, a lot of people don't got that mindset. Definitely they buy right. dogs and yeah. later on down the line, yeah. things like that happen. Absolutely. Something else. And the next thing you know. They beefing. They're beefing. The they're camp is, oh, this camp's got the dog. So me bullshit. Wow. Spicy Sundays. Yeah. 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 Spicy. It gets real crazy. <laughs> For real, bro. You get real crazy. But, but there's ways to actually, like, there really is. There's ways to, like, help it not happen. Like, like, vacation. I, just being real with you, bro. Like it, 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 like when people, like everyone, like wants to make money and stuff. But like, what it's gonna give you long term is priceless. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's priceless, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, just by doing good business. Good business. That's that's that's. I choose key. that. Yeah, good I choose business. good business. And um, before I get in my feelings, I like to breathe in and breathe out and think about everything. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Try to. I work. suggest everybody to do the same. Yeah, take a breath. It helps. Yeah. Think about it. It, you should you should uh you should definitely uh come at somebody uh, more professional whether it's a good thing or a bad thing just try to stay professional 
Yes. As 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 always, at all times, it just works better that way. Mm-hmm. Making things better. Making it better. Yeah, better. Right. Yeah. Yep. I like all that, different man. type of ways to make it better. Yeah. What age did you start uh, introducing your dogs raw? I would say probably about like thirteen months. Thirteen months. Yeah, because you know, like I, I just I can be wrong, guys. You know what I mean? But necessarily, if you feed a dog, doesn't get his their height until they're about a year. They say, you know okay. what I mean? They say usually, I think it's like something between like, I think like nine and a half months, depending on breed to like a year. And then after a year is when they start to actually fill out with any breed. You know what I mean? So like, I just felt like, you know, like you can't necessarily feed a puppy too much protein. So why would you affect anything to that point? You know, at least know you got the, the height of the dog correctly. I mean, like not knocking anybody. I know some people could be like tripe and stuff like that to their uh, puppies and stuff, but preferably me, I don't do that. You know, okay. I just don't. They usually are about a year old, maybe like 10 months old or so, and then we start putting them on raw. But uh, it's more than just raw meat. You got to you gotta put a probiotic in there, something that's going to help them digest it a little bit better for this way they don't get yeast buildup and stuff like that because you want to na- add a natural carb but necessarily. Remember, guys, at least my mindset, these are bullies. Mm-hmm. They're not supposed to be lean. Supposed to be beefy. You know what I mean? Just saying, this ain't game, dog. Right, right, right. I mean, just being real. It was just so, like, it's nothing. It's like if, you know, us, if we just ate protein all day and with no carbs, we'd be shredded. But how would we be shredded? Would we be shredded to where we'd be bowed up? Or would we be shredded to where we were just shredded? You know, I I don't know. I think necessarily my type of dog that uh, it needs to be, you got to have some beef to them. And, and, and they were kibble. They were all kibble before that. Until yeah. Then or yeah, like mix uh, it with the kibble. Or yeah, I, well, I always keep them with a little bit of kibble. Okay. You know, necessarily for this way, like um, like uh, like okay, I'll put you on with something. We're gonna drop jewels right now. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> drop jewels, okay? So necessarily, if anyone knows a bodybuilder or someone necessarily that like works out professionally, okay. They put themselves on a very, very high-calorie diet, okay, prior to a show, okay? And then what they'll do is they'll pull out a lot of the salt in their diet to where it'll make them shredded, okay? okay? So, like, what I do with my dogs is usually about, like, four to five days prior to the dog shows, they go right on kibble, no more raw. And from, I believe, like, you know, the meat, the egg, um, sweet potato, strawberries or cranberries or um, blueberries or whatever's in there necessarily uh, fruit-wise to help them digest, I believe that uh, it's also a high salt calorie diet. You know what I mean? Because of all of that, guys. So what I do is, and from what I've seen, after like, I would say about three days, Famous looks shredded, but beefed up. You know what I mean? Like beefed up. And I think what it is is that you're pulling all that salt out of their diet, I believe, to where, you know, it's just... It's doing something to them. I don't know what it's doing to them, but it, Working uh, some magic. We we'll need to look it's it up. It's definitely you know? making it better. <laughs> it's definitely made, we got to look it up. I don't know what it's doing. But I remember my wife was like, hey, if you Google like things bodybuilders do, you know, they're usually, uh, you know, like a high calorie diet, but like it's small portions. So like, that's the other thing I do. Like, like maybe like a week prior to him coming off, like I usually feed him twice a day. I feed him four times a day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I'll give him exactly um, necessarily what I would give him on, like, a regular portion. But, like, instead of just feeding him twice, I break it down into fourths, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Um, if you look up, they say necessarily, which I believe you can't, you got you can only feed the, a dog so much raw meat to its weight. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because necessarily it doesn't break it down properly. You know what I mean? So, like, famous, I believe Google says or something like that. It says, uh, can I say that? That's how it works. For you. That's what you okay, do. cool. Yeah, but no yeah, problem. I think it says like you know, for every fifty pounds, they can have up to a pound of meat. Okay, you get That's what I'm saying? The ratio. But yeah, so like you know, famous is a hundred pounds, so he gets two pounds of meat, but he gets two pounds of meat. Just that's just counting the meat. That's not the kibble, the sweet potatoes, and all that other stuff. You know, so I think it. I think it has a lot to do with the way that I prep him prior to this show. Okay. You know, because it, he does, he looks totally different. Like, he usually, he looks great all the time. But, like, I notice, like, feeding them that one week four times a day, 
and I'll bring him to the shop with me, the barber shop, and he'll just chill. I'll bring him down by the water, let him run, you know, and like really work him out a little bit more than him just chilling on a daily basis at his house, you know, and uh, I, I see a difference. So, so with your stud, um, what do you consider a litter? A litter? Yeah. A litter is a whole bunch of puppies. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like, if somebody buys a uh, stud and, like, what is your contract? Like, what is your... Okay. Yeah, so if someone would, to, like, let's say, lock in a stud. Which gizmo. I, yeah, let's say gizmo, okay? If someone were to lock into a stud, you know what I mean? You pay whatever, preferably me, because of uh, the value of gizmo, okay? Or what I paid for him, okay? Or whatever someone wants to say. I'm not breeding to the dog unless it's a surgical. I'm not going to keep pulling on him. It, that I'm not doing that. I don't care if the guy's down the block. I don't care if... I don't care. You know what I mean? Right, if you're right. not going to sign that contract, then you're doing a surgical. You know, I'm not even going to send it. You know what I mean? Like, the contract will stay, like, surgical. Also, PG test up to a certain number. You know what I mean? And I will guarantee that the sperm will be there, you know, for your surgical. But um, when you sign that contract, like, let's say two puppies were to come out. Okay, if the person was comfortable with selling both of them, you heard me, we could run it back. You get what I'm saying? If uh, they necessarily going to keep two of them, then, well, that's your litter. You get okay. what I'm saying? Necessarily. If one puppy popped out, okay, the person would have the choice to either do two things. They would either be able to keep the dog if they chose to keep the dog, okay, or the same thing. You know what I mean? The dog would be put up for sale, and then we would split it. And then at that point, we'd run it back. You know what I mean? Uh, if the dog didn't take, necessarily, you know? And that the, over t of the few years I've been doing this, this is why I made a contract like this. Okay? Yeah. Because I feel that if a person can drop the money to pay for the stud, the person should be able to drop the money for progesterone. Okay, uh, I don't feel I'm steering anybody different. But the thing is, though, like you only need a very little bit amount of sperm to get a dog pregnant. So if a person's going to pay, why wouldn't you just do it the right way? Get the PG test done. Okay. And if necessarily someone was cool with doing an AI and that's their contract, you know, necessarily, then that's them. But just me, I I'm not going to do it if it ain't a surgical. You know, just being honest, because, like, why, let's not, why don't we both make sure on both ends? Because, you know, the more you pull a dog, eventually one day he isn't going to be as fertile as he is. So, you know, if you're looking at this as if this is, like, you know, valuable to you, or if some necessarily people want this, okay, why would you suck yourself dry when all you have to do is do it the right way? Right, if right. you agree to that First contract, time. yeah, you yeah. can ask any vet. Surgical? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Long as you run progesterone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It worked. It, you know, that's the way you go and that's the way you do things. That's that's the way it has to be. Mm -hmm. What about putbacks? What do you on, on a stud? No. No? no. Not your thing? No. No. No, but. And, no. Uh, uh, I, no. That was I, quick. No. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you feel? That was quick. <laughs> yeah, like I'm all set. I've been no. through a whole bunch of stuff. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about. Uh, you know, also, putbacks is, is, is that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Making it better. That's what he does. That's his. That's how he does. Just, just my opinion. Guys. Yes, sir. Scary. Just, just my, which my opinion. Title to those. How, how do you feel about refunds? Okay. When, okay, we talked about a stud fee contract, okay? Mm -hmm. When you get a dog from my program, you get a contract. Okay. okay. You get a contract for making it better LLC. Yeah. Okay, you also get a certificate of good health with that dog. You also get the registry papers for whatever registry the dog is to, okay? Um, also, in that contract, it states that, you know, necessarily after buying this dog, that we feel that we want you to have this dog into your vet after 60 days, okay? So now I haven't dealt with it yet, guys, because, I mean, I guess I've been blessed to where the dogs that I've produced, my vet would sign for me, yep. and no vet's going to put that on their line to make somebody happy. You know, that's yeah, always right. license, okay? Yeah, right, right. And also, I'm paying him for it. So it's not like, you know, he's doing that as good as his heart. I, right, make, a, I, I make an appointment. He charges me like $70 a pup. 
Okay, if there's eight of them, he just made five sixty or something like that plus tax, you right, know. Right, so yeah. you know, but uh, no, like if as long as that's held up to par, okay, and uh, you know they went to a vet and the vet says necessarily, I don't know what the vet could say if my vet already signed off on something, but like let's say something happened. And they can show me that they went to the vet within those 60 days. And it's actually something that's either hereditary or something that wasn't caused after the dog has left. Okay. They get their money back. I mean, I own a legit business with insurance. And yeah. you claim taxes. And yeah. That's a deduction. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, you do good business. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like that, man. That's dope, you just do man. good business, man. Dope, man. Takes uh, you a long way. Yeah, for sure, man, and and that's that's a that's a good thing, man. How you how you think and how you how you do things. Now, what what do you feel as though the top three bloods right now in the bloody game? Now, are we talk top with them? Not just top with whatever's ringing bells. Just bullies, right? yeah. Whatever in your you've, eyes, yeah. Though. What it could ring bells, but what is? What okay. are you looking at? What's got your three your three three of them? It's three. That's light. Mm. And I'm talking about dogs I've seen in person. It could, it could, yeah. I'm just being we're real. We're I'm just being yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just being real. Yeah, yeah. I know. There's a lot of Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dogs a lot I've of... seen with my eyes, yeah, yes. man. Uh, okay, let me think. Money bag. Okay. Be real with you, bro. That dog different. Shout out to money bag, man. Yeah, yeah I thought it's a uh, dog different. I mean, I, if that's your cup of tea. Yeah. For sure, this is this is your top three, and I'm not discriminating. I'm gonna try to pick something in my mindset from three classes because I like them all. Yeah, I really do. I like them small, big, medium. It's just the way they look. It's that look to me. Yeah, this is this is your ideal. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. Uh, I like, I like, I like him. Let me see what's that. Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Boulder, man. Yeah. Oh, man, buddy. ask about Boulder. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, they didn't respect game because he was quiet. That boy won everything. Okay? I'm talking about this dog named Boulder, man. Uh, Shout out to Boulder. Yeah, Calabine Kennels, I believe, or something. That's uh, I know the I know the, the co-owner or something like that. I don't know. That is. A, let me do five. Okay. Got me thinking. Uh, let's do five. Let's do five. I, I was good. I was gonna do five, <laughs> but I felt like that was too much, and then the people's minds was gonna go bananas. No, my mindset crazy because there's a few of them. I locked on one little beefy yeah. little individual. Little that, that, that that's a beefy individual. Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna say his name at this point. I said you first, but bad man jam. Okay. Uh, then the next one is. Did I say two already? Yep. You said Boulder. We got Boulder, oh, Boulder and Money Bag. Okay. Yep. Boulder. Boulder and Money Bag. Boulder, Boulder, Money Bag. Shout yeah. out to those two. Spotify. Spotify. Spotify, different type of animal. You guys know who Spotify is? I, I, I'm f I'm familiar. Bro, these are the dog, like the dog. I've never seen them, but I'm like, familiar. Like, these are the smaller ones, but this In dog, person. Bro, like this dog, like, ding, 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 yeah. all the beef. I think that's super dope, too, bro, man. Bro, when they're healthy like that, bro, yeah. with all the beef, bing, boom, like, yeah. bro, they show, they show Spotty. F1, he called the shows, bro. That dog's a problem, bro. Boulder, too. Uh, yeah, but money bag, just the face, bro. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. What else? Um, There's two more. Hold on. Yep. There's two more. Let's give us two more. Um, I like shit like this. Yeah. Let me give. No, but I'm really thinking about it. I'm just, I, like, like, I've seen them in yeah, my. You don't want to shoot out the wrong one. Uh, then next thing you know, you Nah, bro. Like, I, I got to You got to make Right way. Oh yeah, my next question is gonna be super dope. <laughs> For real, I need to. I need to figure this out. I need to I'm know. I'm gonna show love. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what are you doing now? We got, we got we got we got Boulder. We got money bags. And we got Spotify. Now, uh, while you're doing that, I, I want to ask you. Um, when you first got in the game, how was the hate and how was the love? Yo, there was nothing. <laughs> it was like I wasn't there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, it just made me feel like I wasn't there. I was walking around this door, bro. I think the, 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 the best thing I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Oh, shit. Okay. This dog got like nine different colors on him. Okay, got a fucking head on him. He got lion paws. I'm like, does anybody see what waiting. I see? Like, like hello. No one, yo, no one even said hello. <laughs> <laughs> no one was like, yo, bro, where you get that from? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> but nah, I mean, come on. You were the true, first, but wasn't you the first like to? You're new, so do you but feel that like was got hate World Star? or was that? Yeah, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. They I mean, laughed at me. For that too. But but was I that hate? Fact. Like how you were saying? Yeah. Like, well, do you feel as though that was hate or, or love just, like, or a different way? Yo, or was it new, tough you know love what I mean? or what? Like nah, how? you know, it's crazy, guys. I remember when it went on World Star. I, I paid, you know, got a video done with Famous in Times Square, and then uh, I put them on World Star. You know what I mean? The, the website or whatever, the, the webpage. And uh, I remember reading the comments. Yo, bro, I swear to God, it's true. I bet you can find it. It's just hysterical. I, yo, I hope you can hear me, whoever you are. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. You hear me? But anyway, the dude, the dude or the yeah. female wrote on there, this guy needs to find a hobby. <laughs> like, like, he wrote, like, yo, I swear to God. He's like, what is wrong with this guy or something like this? This guy needs to find a hobby. Did he really just pay to have a video of his dog put up here? <laughs> Yo, I said, oh. he wrote like some crazy shit. I did it. I was like, wow. I was like, wow, what the hell is that about? <laughs> I, th I thought the video was cool. I was oh, like, Yo, shit. nobody did this yet. Yeah, right, Everybody right. throwing their music up there. I said, nobody did this yet. And then uh, I went to the show in Ohio. And uh, yo, bro, I'm dead serious for all my kids. That shit, the dude was like, he was patting me down. And he was looking at me. Like, yo, I'm just like, what the hell? Right, know? right. Like, right, I right. never really wasn't, I didn't go to too many shows at that point. And the few I went to, no one knew me. I didn't even win nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just being real with you guys, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, they didn't like the Merles at that point, I guess, or whatever. But, um, when the show, patting me down, whatever. And then, like, bro, like a half hour later, he walked up to me. He was like, yo, you a world star, bro. I saw you. Yeah. And yo, it was the best feeling in the world. So even though that yeah. dude put that weird comment on yeah, there bro. at that time, you felt Yeah, he was like, he was like, you feel good. He's like, yo, that's crazy. I saw you just like a week ago. You know, I was like, yeah, cool. And then he won. He nice. Won. Yeah, he won. Bro. Nice. Yeah, so it was nice. pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, cool. It was pretty cool. Guys. That what yeah. you think do you think that was a uh, a good uh networking play you just did there with the with the world star? Did, did that was a good plug or uh, well, well, yes and no, because you got to think about this. It's an app. Right. So necessarily, I don't know how many people I ran into, okay? But I know that I ran into at least one or two of them, okay, that actually saw the video. I think there was like, and, and these aren't high number guys, if you guys know the thing, but I think it was like 10,000 views within like, you know, I guess like the first like 72 hours, okay? And then uh, necessarily, I think it was something that was needed, Okay, uh, I used a professional guy that did, you know, music videos, movies, and stuff, and he put together a great video, I feel, in my heart. But now that I'm in it. this dog game, there should be more angles of famous yeah. to where maybe I should have went with someone that knew a dog a little bit better. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But um, I think it was something I needed to do. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it's pretty cool to be like, yeah, I was the first one. Yeah, you know, trendsetter shit. Always. I don't trendsetter care. Yeah. Shit. You know what I mean? Like I, I got these people saying like my, my, my quotes, and it's pretty cool, man. It trendsetter really shit. Yep, it's pretty cool. It really is. It's really, really cool. Those are the two. So you guys right. dropping any breedings yet? You got anything dropping yet? We just dropped a. We just dropped a Frenchie litter. I remember you um, talking. We got some get? cocoa and tans, and we got a lilac and tan. Oh yeah, we bred a. Yeah. We bred a lilac. A Sioux seed, lilac and tan Sioux seed to a double chocolate. Yeah. Got some cocos and some yeah. lilacs. You, you, All you, carry you, Isabella, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you like you there. like Frenchies? Me? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, well, what do you prefer more, Frenchies or bullies? I'm a bully guy, bro. Okay, bully. Okay. Really? I'm a bully guy. What do you think about the new um, the Frenchies with the ropes and the fluffies and the skinless? What What is your? Uh, yeah, I just seen somebody drop the skinless. Uh, skinless. A uh, hairless, they hairless, want, hairless. They want hairless big boy hairless. money for that. They want big boy point. It's not my and, cup of tea. And I know it's, it's something for everybody. Uh, yeah, it's got it? pink now too. I'm trying to figure out what's pink. Pink is uh, albino. Albino. See, he's he's huge on. Uh, but they say the pink carries the trait, but the eyes are different, I think, or something like that. It's not like all the way through. No, it's not. It's but they don't have the pigment. You get what I'm saying, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got a fluffy, bro. You know what I mean? I got a fluffy and necessarily... The reason why I wanted one, okay? Because it's different. Okay? Just being real with you. It's different. Okay, yeah. bro? It, it, it's not something that everybody is going to be able to obtain. So I look Definitely. at it... So I look at it like, you know, this is how I showed 
the community or the, or the dog community, like what I'm throwing back up in here mm -hmm. because it came from the dog game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I looked at it like, nah, I need that because I was able to get it. You get what I'm saying? So necessarily, I'm always going to be a bully dude. I don't know what's up with these Frenchies, but some, most of them, this mind don't listen too well. <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> Uh, they don't like like Gizmo's like a house dog. This dog jump on the table to take the burger from you. Like and he's not even the dog that gets scared. Like you know, like you like, takes like, it real confident. Yo, no, nah, like he, bro, he hop on the table, bro. You take the burger and then you catch him. You catch him, bro. You like Gizmo. You know what I mean? And you know how like like famous fans look at you and still take the nah, shit. Give me that. Who, who he won't he? even let you catch him, bro. Then you got to run around the house after him, and then half the time. We just let him chill because you can't catch him. <laughs> and then you got to sneak up on him, grab him, be like, nah, you were bad. Oh, put him in the crate. Shit. You know, <laughs> you put him in the crate. That's hilarious, man. You know, like, I don't know. And then the, the other ones I have, they're somewhat the same. You know, I, I mean, dogs aren't perfect, but like, uh, I, I don't know. I like bullies, man. You know, I do. So what's your roster looking like? You got a lot of bullies? You got a lot? I, I got some shit, man. You got a lot? Yeah, I got some shit. I got, I got, I got famous. I got two famous nieces. Okay, one of famous nieces is like heavy everything, like like bad, bad. Okay, like all these different bloodlines in her. You know what I mean? I think she's like eight time Miyagi, two time Bape, direct Bape daughter, like like a whole bunch of Taliban. Like bro, like this one came out a little beautiful. bit of everything. Oh, she came out beautiful, bro. Okay, mm. and then the other one, she full lilac. She she a dead devil. She a dead devil granddaughter. And she came out full lilac, but she looked like famous. You know what I mean? Just full lilac. So those are the ones that we pop it back to Famy. You get what I'm saying? And then out of those, I'm gonna keep. And then I I'm hoping then Denver will be going in in the next month or so. And then Peanut's still young. Peanut's like maybe like eight months. So Peanut has probably another eight months or so. But I'm gonna keep something off of Denver. I'm gonna run Denver right back. I'm gonna keep another one. By the second one, Peanut should go. But I'm thinking about in like maybe like two year moment, I pop four letters at once. Mm. Two times famous. Okay. Two times famous. Only place you're gonna get it. Two times famous. Okay. You, you know? heard it. You heard it first here, man. That's the only place you're gonna get that two time famous at making it better bullies, man. Yeah. On IG, your Facebook too, right? Yeah, absolutely. And what's yep. the name of that? Making it better bullies. Making it better bullies on Facebook. Now, how do you how do you price your inventory? Um, I mean, like we talked a little bit about before, but um, what I did was is I just try to excel as much as I could. So instead of like what they say being kennel blind, yeah. okay, and following what most people do with a pedigree, I've uh, I figured out how to create my own look. Okay, which famous is, you know, like the ones that look like famous are his kids. Okay, just being real, he throws his look. So the way as time's gone on, I've moved my prices and stuff has been on how things are gone also since my last litter. So, um, you know, necessarily, um, like, like, what do you want to know? Like how much I sold them for? No, 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 you ain't got to get no prices. Okay. You ain't got to do prices. Yeah. No. But, but it, like, uh, it's a sell. You get what I'm saying? So, like, if I started at this three years ago, okay, when I popped, like, let's say I popped a litter, okay? Let's say I popped a litter, okay? So, I popped a litter, and I got this amount of money for it, okay? Because necessarily, that's what my mindset was for them, okay? So, now, if I used, let's say, famous guys, okay? Or let's say a female out my program that produced that because, you know, be real. Come on, guys, as breeders. You could want that dog to look like that stud all the way through. Mm -hmm. yeah. The mama going to give you 70%. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're going to want to grab the traits from the father that will grab. Okay? And, like, famous is his head. It's his spread. You know what I mean? But, like, a mother, you know, people are going to argue. That's the way I feel. 70% come from the mother. But, um... Now, to get back to that, if I sold these dogs for a certain amount, let's say famous, okay? And let's say that was sold for that, okay? Now, let's say it was about another year, guys, okay? Or let's say eight months, but just there was a time span before the following litter, okay? Mm -hmm. If famous one 
first place this, best in breed for this. We went somewhere else, BABC belt, okay? We went somewhere else, okay? King of this, okay? That's how you're going, that, that's what's coming with that next number. That's what's coming with that next number, okay? Because the reason why it's coming bef- besides bragging rights, okay? That wasn't free, yeah. okay? And if it didn't work, okay, I wouldn't be able to do the things I'm doing, okay? So when you buy that, you buy everything that comes with that program, okay? This is the other thing. When you buy from me, if you drop something, that's an automatic tag. There's no hate. You guys believed in my program. If you chose to take those dogs and produce off of them, or even if you just wanted to have one litter, like, you know, whatever the situation is, guys. That's dope. That's on my page. And that's not BSing. You can ask about me. Yeah. People that buy dogs from me sell dogs, okay? I can't tell you how many, but I can tell you there's a good ratio of people that hit me up two ways. Hey, Dave, did you really tag this to your page? Hey, Dave, did this person really have a famous son? Hey, Dave, did this person really run into famous? Hey, Dave, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I know it's working. And that's why people keep coming back. Like, I have repeat customers. That's that's another accomplishment. Yeah, that's good. I have, repeat customers. Back. I have repeat customers. It's another accomplishment. Yeah. Cali double back, West Virginia double back, Denver grab three. You know, so like, you know, like I looked at it like that. You get what I'm saying? And as time went on, if things started to sell on my behalf to where he kept winning and he kept winning, then of course he's going to be more. We keep going up. Yeah, and anything off him is going to be more, and that's just my preference. And, you know, there's a dog out there for everybody, you know, necessarily if this isn't where it works out, I hope you find what you're looking for. You know, but... Very well said. I mean, you, you, you buy you buying something over here, man. You know what I mean? You buying something. You want to make it better. You know, you go on the page and they say, oh, who's the dad? Who's the father of the dog? Oh, man, this dog, dog got his own house. <laughs> dog got his own house. What, what would you, what would you, uh, what would you want to tell the people as far as uh, making it better? As, uh, like, what do you got? You got any puppies on the ground? No, we got that one in two weeks. And then uh, just confirm, just confirm. She's fifty days in, so like X-ray. You Congrat, know what I mean. Congrats on that. Thank you, man. We got that. Um, then we got uh, we got one of Famous's nieces coming in real soon, and then the sister to the Frenchie that's pregnant now. She was uh, four point six yesterday, so she's right behind her. Okay. Nice, nice. She's right behind her. So yeah. you're gonna be having some. You you just uh, carriers. Okay, Luffy Luffy carriers. carriers. Yeah, okay. carriers. I have carriers. Okay, that's gonna. You got a date? Then they, they could come. They could um, tap in. Well, May. They said like May fourteenth or thirteenth, but uh, nice. just preferably what I do, I might like put a little sneak peek out, but nobody gonna see none until they're like four weeks old. So yeah. at least a four piece. Maybe yeah. eight. Fuck it, we got eight in there. I would hope so, you know. But <laughs> yeah, you know, it, cool, right? as long as they come out healthy, we got eight. nah, for sure. Yeah, man. as long as they that's, come out healthy. I mean, but more the merrier, you know. But mm-hmm. as long as they come out healthy. And then we got a sister, and then uh, somebody else got uh, Gizmo locked in. And um, I forget what part of New York, pardon me for that. But I got someone locked in, and they doing a surgical probably within the next, like, seven Shout days. Shout out to them, too, man. Yeah, so things are, things are going well. Can't complain. That's good. And, and, and he good also here. has merch, too, making it better merch. So you can uh, go tap in to him. And go hit him up in the IG, um, making it better bullies on Instagram or on Facebook. For the merch, for the puppies that he's gonna have dropping pretty soon. Um, I mean that's cool, man. That's cool how you how you how you maneuver and how you get in this game and just find your lane and just you know go full force towards whatever you know that is going bad and going good, you know, and, and accomplishing it and, and and getting over anything that you got uh going and every like all the bad stuff, you know how you just how you say it? Get it, get over. Got over it. Yeah, you kept got over it. Positive and, and just kept it going. And it stay just, consistent and didn't lose your vision. Determined. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. Not absolutely. You know, you got to, uh, th- this ain't for everybody. Yeah. You know, you know don't, it's not for everybody. You know, it's not for everybody. Years, picking up years. poop. And three and a half, right? Three yeah. and a half? Yeah, like, like, like every day. Yeah, that's I cool. mean, you guys see them out there yeah. every day yeah. with these boys, you know. But, uh. 
No, the same way for everybody. I mean, I, I've been blessed, I guess you could say, or maybe the hard work is paying off what I did. But uh, it's just the beginning, man. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's cool. cool. That's, that's cool, just the beginning. Man. Uh, what 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 the people could look forward? Um, what you got besides the puppies? Like uh, any shows you're gonna be attending? Yeah. Well, we're going. Uh, well, anything. What else was you gonna say? I'm sorry. Uh, not any shows you're gonna be attending. Anything else as far as new merch? As far as uh, any puppy, any bo- any dog you was thinking about purchasing, or or any dog um, productions you got planned? Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, What's your future. I'm trying to. Uh, I believe July 27th. I believe is uh, West Virginia. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna step out West Virginia. I'm definitely October. I'm in Dallas. Definitely in October. I'm in Dallas. Um. Next year, May 13th in Buffalo, we got King of New York. Um, and is that you and your partner? Yeah, you that's me. Mans? Yeah, that's me and my partner. Uh, okay. My friend, actually. We'll just say friends, but partner on, um, he's like my brother, but he's my partner on the dog show. He actually owns Orange Crush Kennels. Okay. Yeah, shout him out. Fluff shout, game shout is out crazy. Fluff game is crazy. But, um, you know, uh, no, we got that planned. Um, I, I, I don't want to really say too much about it because I feel that, you know, you have to keep certain things to yourself or people sure, are going to try to do them prior to you. So I'm feeling really good about this. And I will tell you that we're going to do something that no one's done yet. You know, oh. um, I will tell you that, that it's indoor, outdoor. It looks like it looks like cathedral. Like this is bananas, nice. guys. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, we got a bunch of people coming in. Uh, we got Loner Boy. I don't know if you guys know who Loner Boy is. He he makes some of the most phenomenal videos at these dog shows that like I've seen up to date. That's dope. Yeah. We might we might need to attend that and yeah, uh, yeah. hold one of these there. Oh bro, I I, I already said it earlier. Yeah. They're in there if they want to come. They only yeah, need man. to pay. Yeah, uh what do you call? It? We got that Appreciate going that. on. Appreciate that. Yeah, we got a few other people. Um I don't know if anybody knows who Spielberg is. Shout out to Spielberg, buddy of mine, B A B C. You know, come in the house and be a host there. Um I believe uh, my partner also said uh, Daquan Jackson. Um, who else? If I'm, I'm if I'm forgetting your name, I apologize. Um, but this it's gonna be good, guys. We got a, 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 a little other thing. We got a dining area, okay, right next door to the ring. Okay, so you know, we got something a little different going on, man. You know, we have stuff outside for the kids. We're gonna, nice, nice. It's gonna be beautiful. I, I hope you guys come. What's, oh, what's, what's, what's the date again? Definitely. May thirteenth next May year. May thirteenth. Make sure you Buffalo, guys save that date. Buffalo, New York. May thirteenth. Save the date. Definitely. Um, right, absolutely, man. I think you guys should definitely come out. Yeah, yeah we, we 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 uh we gotta make something happen. I mean, Popping out. by by that time, uh, everybody should know who Breeder State of Mind is for shit show. Got some shit going on. Here. Yeah, man. Some shit going on. Here. Appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, um, we trying, you know. Yeah, we're trying. I mean, we trying. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely are trying, man. We're we try. trying to bring something to the bully game that, you know, is is if somebody did it, well, I don't know. We, we shout out to them if yeah, they did it. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, but we doing something too. Yeah, we we definitely coming, man. Yeah, nah, you definitely doing something. On it. This is beautiful. Yeah, man. Thank you, appreciate man. you Thank for you. coming out too, man. No, that, was, that was super dope, man. Uh, that you agreed on coming through and chopping it up with us. It's, it's a blessing, you know, and to have pleasure. your presence for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is cool, bro. New York, man. Yeah, man. New Anybody York. Anybody else want to shout out before? Um, yeah, shout out everybody. Yeah, man. Even the haters. Even them, <laughs> there right? You go. Even them. Because like 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 an old time breeder told me, don't measure. What you doing by everyone that gives you a pat on your back? He said, measure what you're doing by everyone that's hating or everyone that's trying to figure out something wrong with what you're doing or, you know, saying things and this and that, this and that. So I've, uh, shout out to them. Thank you guys. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> shout out yeah. to the haters. You gotta love them, man. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, man. Thank you guys, man. The haters, man. I mean, we couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, you, you could have yeah, done it without <laughs> you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, making it better, yes. baby. The Don't haters is making it better. Making it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that yeah. shit. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You know, everyone got to play their position. Yeah, man. <laughs> right. yeah everybody got to play their position. You're right. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You stay yeah. over there, and I'm going to keep moving. Yeah, we got yeah. him. Keep working over here. Yeah, man. make sure you subscribe. I'll give you more to hate about. Yeah, <laughs> man. Pay attention. Say that. Yeah, man. Yes, absolutely, yes. guys. Yes, man. But nah, yeah. it's definitely a pleasure. 
Yeah, thank man, you for a good time. We're gonna head out. Um, uh, I, I, like I said, thank you again. And you could tap in. You can go get some merch. His puppies, and you know he's gonna be dropping pretty soon. And you know his stud. He got a uh, gizmo. Uh, it's a fluffy. He's a full visual, right? Full visual. Correct? Full visual. Lab work in hand. Yeah, man. It's five k. Yep, it might 5K not be play. that. Tap in. Really so. <laughs> You know. Um and I'm uh you got me the the host uh five, your co-host Cito, you know Breeder State of Mind podcast, and we got my boy. Oh yeah, my boy Dave. That's me. Mm -hmm. Uh, making it better, bullies from New York to a different state to a country far from you. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. me, bro. No, pr no problem. No man. problem. No Just problem. Just like that, all. man. We out, man.